Okay, so I've had this phone now for over a month. So I've got a pretty good impression of this. Um, I did an unboxing about a month ago. And like I said, I've had this for a month. And I got to say, I really enjoy this phone. I like this phone. It is a Windows phone, obviously, but um, a phenomenal phone nonetheless. And obviously, this is the HP Elite X3. So I'm going to kind of talk about this in three parts. I'm going to talk about the phone. Then I'll talk about the uh, lap dock slash continuum in the dock. So, um, and as I'm rambling, I'll show you close-ups of these products. But after a month of use, I got to say my favorite feature of this phone is battery life. Battery life on this is phenomenal. I mean, it's got a massive battery and literally using this all day, I've yet to take this phone below 50%. So out of any phone I have ever used, I've got to say this has got the best battery life. The build quality on this is also phenomenal. Um, I don't even know, it feels like plastic, but at the same time, it doesn't. I mean, it's got metal around the edge, but the design of this, the look of this phone is awesome. I mean, the screen, it's bright, it's vibrant. The speakers are good. It's got a micro SD expansion, and you can also have two SIM cards in this. So you can literally have two phone numbers on this single phone. And then finally, you've also got the fingerprint sensor, which is on the back. It did take me a little bit to get used to, but it's got a nice ridge where it is easy to access and it just works. It works really well, actually. I mean, as you can see here, it just, it works. I mean, now with Windows Hello, obviously you've got that little animation, so it does make it not quite as fast as other phones, but it's still pretty quick. And then you can also unlock this thing with your face using the Windows Hello, so. Um, there, the fingerprint sensor is faster to unlock it, but say you're wearing gloves or whatever, you can actually use the IR camera on the front and unlock it with Windows Hello. And right now I can tell you the best part about this phone is the price. Now the bundle I bought was the laptop bundle, which was essentially $1,300, $1,298. And if you don't want the laptop, which I don't recommend, I'll get into that in a minute, if you buy this just with the phone and it comes with the desk dock, so the little Chrome docking station, you can get this on Microsoft for $599 right now. Because a lot of the reviewers, when this phone came out, they were complaining about the price. They were saying it's way overpriced. But to put that in perspective, I mean, this has got 64 gigabytes of storage. You can have a micro SD card slot in it, and you can have two SIM cards in this thing. And it's $599 for the phone, and it comes bundled with the laptop. And if you go over to, say, an iPhone 7 Plus, that is, for 32 gigabytes, you're starting, starting at $769. And if you want to go up to 128 gigabytes, you're looking at $869 from the Apple website. And if you're a Samsung fan, going with the S7, because the s is not quite out yet, then you're looking at $669 unlocked um, for a 32 gigabyte S7 Edge. So just to put that in perspective, this is actually cheaper than all the other flagship phones out there right now. And it comes with the desk dock. So like I said, the hardware on this is second to none. Call quality is good. I mean, I've not had a case on this at all. It just, to me, I like the way it looks so much. I don't want to put a case on it. I mean, I've not dropped it, but obviously um, I feel like it would actually do pretty good in a drop, but I'm not going to test that. Um, it's got a, like I said, 5.96 inch, so it's, it's basically almost six inches across AMOLED display. Very bright, very bright. It's a Gorilla Glass, so um, those are kind of the pros on this. The one thing I don't like about this phone, and I'll show you a couple sample pictures I took, is the camera. Um, it is a 16 megapixel um, camera for the rear, but it just kind of... It's meh, it's okay. And that is uh, one issue with this as well. Anytime I tried to take an HDR photo, about 50% of the time, the camera app would crash when I put it on HDR. I don't know why. I looked on the forums, that was some of the bugs with this, is just the uh, camera crashing. I don't know why HP has not fixed that yet, or if they're working on it, but, um, so really, my one and only complaint with this phone is the camera. The pictures are mediocre, and the camera likes to crash. This does shoot 4K video, um, but 
there doesn't really seem to be very good um, optical image stabilization with this. So if you're buying this for the camera, definitely pass, definitely skip. Um, with that though, I will say this is still the best Windows phone you can get overall. Um, like I said, it's got a Snapdragon 820 processor, uh, four gigs of RAM, so it's a powerful phone. It really is a powerful phone, but the camera sucks. So I know HP is targeting business types and made this for business professionals, but really if they do a Gen 2 of this, hopefully they improve the camera, the camera software and just the camera quality. So I'll shut up for a second, show you some uh, pictures and video that I took. Okay, so moving on to the desk dock. The desk dock build quality is really nice. It's a super, it's fairly heavy. It's a metal design, super high quality. It's got a plethora of ports on the back. The one thing that I've noticed with this, and it has been a big disappointment with Continuum, is I've tried plugging in hard drives, and I just, I tried multiple hard drives. I tried an SSD and plugging it directly into the phone or the lap dock or the desk dock, and it will not read them. It will read like just a thumb drive or a SD card if you use like a little USB dongle for it, but it will not read hard drives. So to me, that kind of ruins the continuum experience, being unable to use those. But again, it's got a display out so you can connect this to an external monitor. And I will say that I use the desk dock all the time. It actually charges it fairly rapidly, and I do like Continuum in the desktop environment. So it works, it works really well, um, but it works really well, and I've got no complaints on the Continuum. However, the main reason I bought this phone was for Continuum, and now <laughs> Samsung has gone and copied Continuum, but made it better. I mean, at least from the demos I've seen of um, Dex, I think is what they're calling it, but you can actually have multiple apps or windows open at once with the Samsung version. So to me, I think they kind of took Microsoft's thunder, stole it and improved upon it. So unfortunately, I hope that's not a nail in the coffin for uh, future continuum updates and development, but only time will tell. But I will tell you the desk dock, super high quality. It works great for continuum. I just wish that the software and the phone or whatever would allow me to connect external hard drives so I could like watch movies or whatever off of it. But so moving on to the third is the lap dock. Now the lap dock, as you can see, it is super nice hardware. I mean, HP did a phenomenal job on the design of it. It looks super premium. It feels premium. But where they failed is it cost $600 for the lap dock. So my question would be, why would you use this? Because for $600, you can actually buy a really good Ultrabook that's going to be way more powerful than the lap dock. So I think the price point is terrible on this because if I'm going to spend that much, I'd rather just carry a full-blown laptop than carry the lap dock, which is severely limited in terms of what you could do on a laptop. So if they would price this thing, even I would say $300 max, then I think it would be worth it. And I will say as far as hardware wise, the touchpad is horrendous on the lap dock. Everything else is great. The screen's great. The typing experience, the keys. I mean, it's responsive. You can use it wireless or wired and it all works as it should. And it works pretty darn well but it is ruined by the touchpad. The touchpad is just horrendous. So you can use a mouse with this if you want, and I think that would improve the experience. Or if they would add a touch screen, that can improve the experience. But I will say, I honestly went ahead and returned mine because it cost $600. I would say if the touchpad wouldn't have sucked, I would have kept it. I would have sucked up the cost and just kept it because I do love the concept, but at the same time, the price is just, it's kind of ludicrous, honestly, the price. So I'm hoping, because I plan on keeping this phone, that 
in the next month, coming months, as maybe they come out with the second generation, that the price of the laptop will just get cut in half. If that's the case, then I'll definitely pick another one up. Or if they come up with a Gen 2, hopefully, that's got a better touchpad. So that's really my biggest complaint of the lap dock is for one, it's $600 and two is just the touchpad is horrible. So let's wrap this review up. So like I said, I've had this for over a month now and uh, really out of any phone I've ever owned, the battery life on this is the best bar none. Um, the fingerprint sensor and Windows Hello work phenomenal. Um, everything else about it, even you're running obviously Windows 10 Mobile. I haven't had the issues that a lot of people have had. I actually don't mind it. For all the apps that I couldn't find on Windows 10 Mobile, I was able to just go to the website and pin it to my start screen. So the apps really don't bother me as far as the app gap is what bothers me is the camera sucks on this. So that's kind of what bothers me and really my only complaint of the HP Elite X3. So for $599, I would recommend this wholeheartedly. So Right now, like I said, you can go to the Microsoft Store or their website and you can get this for $5.99, which includes the dock. So if you're looking to dip your toe into Windows Phone, this is the one I would recommend. Unless you're really big on doing a lot of photos with your phone and then you could either go with the Lumias um, or a non-Windows Phone. But that's my only beef with this. So as always, if you guys enjoyed that, give it a thumbs up. If you've got any questions, go ahead and Drop it in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer it. And if you have not subscribed, go ahead and do so. Thanks.